The Queen of Woke can't silence us anymore. Well, have a look at this. It's the peers of the Morgan versus Meghan Markle. I think there's a little picture of her husband there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It looks like Meghan hasn't got her own way after all. I like this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for a Thursday, hope you're doing alright. I'm a little bit late to the party with this for reasons I explained in an earlier video about my absence, but I walked in the Tesco's and saw this paper here with Piers Morgan and Meghan Markle on the front of it. Delicious, I thought. I don't usually buy the Sun. In fact, I haven't bought the Sun since I uh, messed around and changed what you used to see on the third page. Yes, I know I'm a dirty, stinking pervert, but so are most other men, so there you go. Anyway, back to the plot. Piers Morgan, as you know, had a wee little problem. He had this nice little cushy job on Good Morning Britain. He was challenged over his opinions on Meghan Markle. Apparently, wasn't able to say what he thought that she apparently is a liar and is deceitful with various things that comes out of her mouth that have all been since fact-checked. He walked off set only to return a short moment later. Later on in the day he left because he was asked to apologise over his comments and refused to and rightly so. There were various uh, complaints to Ofcom Thousands, in fact, I think it's something like 58,000, and Meghan Markle herself was one of them trying to stick the dagger in Piers Morgan's back and give it a twist. Well, here's what I think. Whoopee fucking day. Look, Piers Morgan, my opinion is differing with him. There are certain things he does on the television that I like. You know, oh, oh God, I can't remember the name of it, but you know that uh, show where he went and interviewed the career serious criminals you know the murderers and all, all the other types and so uh, i you know programs like that i thought were quite cool but one thing i cannot stand is the bloke's interview style he'll sit there with his pompous big mouth won't let them answer the question that he asked them 20 seconds earlier cuts across them and is generally loud and gobby that side of him i can't stand but that being said He's entitled to an opinion, a lot like everyone else. If you have an opinion, you should be allowed to freely express that opinion. It's enshrined in our human rights, and it should be something that everybody is allowed to do and get away with. Equally, people are allowed to be offended by your opinion. It's called life, and if you can't understand that, get a life. And what this Ofcom ruling does, is scores a very big victory for those who believe in freedom of speech. Piers Morgan, Alex Belfield, me, everybody, everyone in the planet, they're entitled to an opinion. And while we should exercise some tact with certain things every now and again, you're allowed to say what you fucking well think. And uh, Ofcom have pretty much ruled in that favour with this malarkey to do with Good Morning Britain. As I said, I like it. The only thing I don't like is it kind of takes the shackles off that Piers Morgan character and I wonder what the hell he's going to do next. Oh dear, watch out. Anyway, I'm off. See you later with another one. Gabby Cabby, signing off. Toodaloo.